Okay, I'm doing this again. I uh, kind of turned off my recording. This is my live mixture and I'm letting it cool down. It's um, already heated up quite a bit and it went to 166, 168 and is, looks like it's about 145. And I want these to between be between around 20 degrees of each other. That's a lot cooler. This is my whole homemade yellow color. I'm only going to be adding a little of this. It's made with canola oil. And this is going to also be what they call a super fat, which means the host, the, uh, after the soap is completed the spafonication, you're going to have um, a little bit of the oils that you need, you know, for conditioning your skin. And that's what's got the canola oil is very good for that. So that's one of those, and it's going to have a little of that in there. This is also a, a natural color I made, which is the purple. And that's made with alkanet root, and that's made with turmeric. It's one of my tools, should be over here. And this is my olive oil that I'm using. Of course, my vinegar, i got to have that ready for um, any kind of lye spills or anything and clean up. It's also really good for that. And this here is my sugar, and this is salt. The sugar is good for adding bubbles, helping the bubbles in the lather in your soap. And the salt is really good. That makes the bar a lot harder. And of course, this is the olive oil. It's pure. Now you see in the back, that's a <laughs> little plug. That's Shakeology. That's what I drink. Uh, one re meal replacement a day, and I've already lost about 35 pounds. And it's been about six weeks. So enough of that. Now to go through with this, finish up this, I'm going to get my molds going and I will bring you back when this is ready to be mixed in and the color mixed in so you can see how it's going. Now when you're doing your lye, you got to always make sure you get the water as cold as you can and you add your lye into the water, never the other way around. You'll have an explosion, volcano, eruption, however you want to call it, but it wouldn't be good. Alrighty, and I will be back. Okay, hi, I'm back again. Um, still need to come down and get maybe another 10 degrees. Now the stuff you see floating around in there, that's my salt and sugar. Um, I put about half of each container because this is a small batch. Um, I probably should have put it in when it was hotter because it's not wanting to melt. This is the first time I've ever done this, so I wasn't sure. But now I kind of see that won't affect the soap. Um, it should melt some more, I would guess, because any kind of heat is going to melt the sugar and salt. Sometimes I keep stirring it, but it's got to go down another approximately 20 degrees before I can add it to the uh, oil. And you can see the sugar and salt down there. The salt's probably melted. This is the sugar. I'm uh, not sure about that one. I'm going to strain it anyway so that way I won't have any, uh, you know, like crystals in there. This is the mold I'm going to use. This is approximately three ounces. I think they are three ounces actually. Now this is my color mixer, but I don't really need it right now because this is pretty well mixed. Put that in there for now. And I shall return. Okay, now I'm back. Now this is cooled down enough. I'm going to go ahead and add it to the oil. You can see how, how it is. Get the dripping drips off of there. Okay, now I need two hands, so I'm going to have to put my phone down to add this to here. I'm going to strain it. That's my little strainer right there, so just be right back.
Okay, there we go. Now it's down in there. Now this is just stirring it around a little bit before I take my blender to it. Now when I poured the lye in, I did strain it, but I poured it over this little uh, pink spatula just to make sure it didn't splash around as I poured it because you don't want to get it around on anything. You notice I did put my gloves on. I didn't have them on before because I had already taken care of all the lye. Okay. Now this is oil and lye mixed together. That's how it looks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate a little of this out to do the color. Well, I should say I may do that. I'm not sure yet. Okay, here we go. Put it in at a angle so that way you get a little bubble going and you don't want to hurt. You don't want to have a bubble. You want to get the bubbles out. And you mix it. Now this is kind of like a creamy white. It looks more yellow with the camera, but it's a uh, creamy white. And uh, I know that the color of the oils you use is really going to depend, or the color of the this color, <laughs> I should say, is going to depend on the oils that you use. And we want to uh, emulsify this. We want to get it mixed together. You don't see no floating oil on top. Excuse the mixture. We're going to take this trace. It's already getting pretty thick pretty fast. And that's probably because of, that's actually at trace. That's probably a good medium, maybe, I don't know. I don't think I want to go any further with it because it'll be too thick to pour in the mold. So I'm going to go ahead and portion some out into the little over here. Yeah, about that much. Let's see how my yellow dye looks. Almost like I would guess I used quite a bit of color, so I don't think I need that much. So I'm gonna oh geez, I'm gonna put it back in, and I think I'll leave it so that way I can swirl it and get the rest of this in there. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay, that looks pretty orange to me. I try not to mix it too much, but it's mixed in there pretty good. So I'm going to pour it into my molds. Now this is cold process, so, so that means it's going to have to harden. So I'll probably be ready to take it out of the mold tomorrow. I will bring you back, well I can't bring you back, but I will show the results of the unmolding. Now with the dye that I made, I would be safe to say that I used too much of the color, um, which shows me that you only need a little bit, which is a good thing because it means that the dye is a really good dye. Because it's supposed to be yellow. And it looks more like an orange. Now I have some more. I'm going to have to put it into. Well, I guess I'll make a pyramid. Now I put a drop of fragrance in there. I could do that. 
and I still have some more in there. Let's see what I can put that in. I'll try my little square molds. like one. <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm even showing you. I still had some soap on this mold from the one I did earlier. I'm going to put this down to scrape out the remaining and I will be done. This is my little short tutorial. Have a good day. Okay. I scraped it out and that's what I had left. It's a little over the mold, but I can clean that up when it's done. Anyway, thank you guys all for watching.